It's a time for propaganda, time to grab your brews and your commons. Propaganda, propaganda, open up your best ideas. Time to watch Deluxe and Call Brew a deck for you. Hello everyone, it is me, it is Saturday, I'm excited for the 49ers game today and to show you this new list. Uh, quick aside, this isn't a super serious list, uh, there's a lot of ways to build this, but what happens whenever I have a really good outing like last week, I try to tamper the spikeness of that down with something fun and playful so that we don't turn into just tunnel vision of like, uh, you know, what's 5 0 I like to keep keep the ideas going. So I've been going back and forth on this list a lot. Um, it had the giant ox in it of all creatures, and I was killing people with that when it could get through. But as most things go, you need evasion. And bodyguard and blessing are in this for that same reason, but I found I had to go back to just flying to really kind of get things done. So we have the uh, tribe combo here, but it's a little wonky, unlike the frame I'm sitting in. It's not the inside out plan. It's the solid footing and Umbra plan. And uh, that's why we're running so many Sentinel's eyes as well. Uh, really, really love this card, both in White Infect and in this list, but more about that in a second. We've got three Ash Barons, two Forest, Plains, one Swamp, and all four Heaths to arrive at a 19 land total. I messed around with the Karoo lands for the logic of, hey, let's return a land and discard it to Skyfisher. Same with Whiteout. Uh, those all went by the wayside the more I played this because it really isn't a centric tribe list. If it happens, it's great. But that's why we're also playing Seraph of Dawn because you throw this on here and you've got a six in the air life a turn creature. It's pretty awesome. Um, so anyway, to the deck, we've got three bodyguards, four sentinel's eyes, four footings, four tireless tribe, one omen of the dead, and four compasses to keep us alive. And without a sky fisher, we can both bounce the wedding invitation if we need cards, or we can gain life if we're up against uh, mountains. Uh, so yeah, four sky fisher, four blessing. This went all over the place, but in the end, I uh, really, really prefer it. We've got three pilgrims, four umbras, and the seraph of dawn, and the for two spots in our sideboard we got two clerics four strands four macabre three mass vandals i uh, had one of these in the main again this this toughness is really what you're after because of the way this deck runs and then uh the celestia of angel for the old schoolers out there this used to be kind of a mainstay of how you're supposed to build celestia tokens but i'm using it for all of the uh you know what do you call uh the blades out there what what God, i can't believe i forgot the name of that card torpor blade or something anyway <laughs> Hmm. All right. Uh, yeah, and our new uh, mod is Dreamer Stango. So make sure to say hi. And if you got any questions or links, you can send it to him or Nim Chimsky. And I'm just looking over in the chat now. I'm not sure if uh, there were. Who's all here is what I'm trying to say. We'll go to two and go from there. So next week, I'm going to try to bring you a judges familiar list. This is strange. I already set this up and it's still doing this weirdness. Um, but yeah, there's th thanks to Nim Chimsky for uh, really helping me out on the uh, link front and what's on the horizon. I'm kind of bad at that. Uh, sometimes I'll, I'll hear something and I kind of... I've got to remember that that's what a lot of people are interested in. So uh, thanks to Nim for uh, holding my hand that way and giving me those cool links. So that's um, it's been a big help. This card used to actually see quite a bit of play uh, about five or six years ago. It was kind of the uh, angel of choice for uh, gaining life. I believe it's probably when this set came out. Uh, people have gone away from it. But when you're looking at this this toughness here, a lot of these creatures are pretty darn hard to kill. Game two, you know, you've got your little tribe uh, discard the prismatic angle and and such. It's messed around with, like, you know, aura mancers and things like that, or uh, especially commune with the gods. I tried um, both Winding Way, which wasn't that great, as well as... Um, uh, lead the stampede and with the creature count the way it was it missed quite a bit of time so i didn't like that so totally lost mtg watching live all right first time chatter good to see you all right good to have you woo 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 all righty so we've got parts of combo but we're gonna keep this because i'm not greedy uh skyfisher is no joke when it you know hits for five every turn and that can happen as soon as like turn three so it's good times. Plus, it gets it out of a lot of bolt range, right? Unless they're running Fire Blast or, you know, Improvised Club or something. I think there's no reason to not run out of Heath here. A little bit flooded. We'll go green on this 99% of the time. So funny. I have one snow-covered swamp, and it used to usually shows up. But you might be asking why. It's because of the spell Whiteout used to be on this list, and then I was just lazy. So, yeah, good times. Dayakuba. Still one of my favorite names to say out loud. 
So yeah, I'm getting very nervous. Our neighbors are Green Bay fans. They're coming over for the game here. And uh, we're going to see what we can see. Oh boy, do I just try the invitation? Let's, should I try the invitation or just, yeah, let's, let's play the invitation just because um, I, the loss of tempo is going to be a thing for Skyfisher next turn. And I want to be able to um, solid footing at speedy flashiness response to a lightning bolt instead of putting it out there naked. So, but yeah, we're, we're, uh, it's just, it's an exciting time for American football right now because the last, well, the next few weeks and the last week, it's just, if you lose, you're out. So I really like those, those, uh, those, but it's very nerve wracking because all of a sudden this team that we were supposed to snowball is, is playing very good football. So we're just like, Oh no, what's going on? Yeah. Lions are a nice, nice pick too. Gosh, that, that franchise is just my entire lifetime they've always sucked <laughs> now they're like world beaters so it, i'm kind of pulling for them too all right we have quite a few options here we won't need the unblockability so let's not get too cute we'll just bring out the sky fisher return the wedding invitation do our best impersonation of uh playing good magic and hope for the best i don't know if it's worthy of doing that now i think i'm just gonna hold Maybe we can get a bolt out of them. I just love spells that aren't spells that go at instant speed because they can cause some really fun issues. They got another bolt and we're not going to be in good shape here, but at least we, uh, all right, two for two. We lose our stuff. Darn it. They're like, what on earth? So yeah, I was messing around with giant ox. It's a zero six two drop. And, uh, Killing a lot of people when the board was clear or when, you know, bodyguard would show up. But uh, it's quite a hollow draw otherwise. So, But, you know, when you're looking at stats like slag work armor and stuff like that. And I had a a quarter shield and cather shield. They're like the same card, just different artwork. And then there was the halberd that kind of uh, gets out a little bit sooner but doesn't have the oomph. But having that three toughness backside, I do miss it sometimes. Tribe, I could really go off with that. So... Gosh darn it. But had I done the other, we could have been uh, fine with that. So we'll play this out. We'll play. We've got every option of card, so there's no reason to like play out of land here right now. Okay, that's a pretty good reason. Should we keep it safe? There might be a journey in our future, so let's bring out the bodyguard. Again, I'm not too all in on the uh, tribe plan. The threat's always there. Again, this isn't mega serious deck, but it's just, you know... I like to follow up like 5-0 shows with something a little janky, you know, a little fun. Probably be right in the middle of the road next week with some, uh, I'm really trying to give myself some time to build a, a deck around Judges Familiar or find one that it fits perfectly into. It's been, I really like that new Convoke card. Uh, Nim, can you bring that one up? I don't have it off, off memory because, dude, those tokens make... First of all, you've got the ability to get rid of, I think it's an artifact or enchantment, which is just, that's a very nice byproduct to have in this metagame. And then you get vigilant creatures with, you know, um, oh, what's that called? Comply? What am I trying to think of? Uh, where you tap them to uh, convoke. That's right. Comply. What am I talking about? Okay. Let's do the thing. Let's bring out an invitation. And no reason really not to. All right, I like that, except that they got rid of our dude here. Oh, I'm not going to be doing too much of a plan on the uh, that other side of it. This is worth a card if this gets through. You know what? Nah, we'll go like this. Here we go. Bring this through. Now, they've already seen solid footing, so they might be a little scared here. That's fine. We'll discard. Let's see. We'll probably get rid of the Heath. Right? Yeah. Point two six. Not much else. And I think we're just going to hold these cards. Well, I don't have access to black, do I? Got to remember, that's just the green. So, okay, we're done playing lands. We'll just keep the rest for all the other things. Yeah, I'm, I'm a big fan of Escape Tunnel. A lot of people didn't understand my little uh, card leak tricks there uh, that I did on the community tab. We had two of them in like three days, but um, I really see that being a... Pretty, it's just a neat design space, right? Obviously with something like a tireless tribe or especially infect, that could be, that's going to be quite a card. 
double paladin discarded and suggest they already have something of the uh you know tunneling persuasion initiative that's the word i'm thinking all right you know the right play here might be well no they're at 21 never mind i was thinking we could flash in omen just because and uh, I don't like playing white decks with this because, you know, it's hard to give tribe pro-white. That's why we're running more Benevolent Blessings instead of uh, the other. But we'll cycle this up. We'll get a plane. Why not? Keep it in our hand. Do we attack? We do not. We sit back and do absolutely nothing. I almost want a uh, Journey to Nowhere here so I can trip the bodyguard and be warranted and going and turning on that Omen of the Dead, which I'm very tempted to just make it scry for it you know i don't think we're gonna win this one this element of surprise is gone darn it darn it darn it all right i'm gonna get him with bodyguard just to do it here with uh pro white next turn okay they got their evasion now i think they're gonna go with uh we'll probably get the initiative turn next turn i think they're doing that to set up this uh always get it back sort of thing double check in here sacrifice no other abilities Boop -a -doo. oh that's pretty good i mean we can always discard it for right now yeah it doesn't make too much sense to to do exactly what my plan was does it drat come in for three at least we can represent some sort of damage right Let's try this out. A mind step throw. All good. I'm glad you got sleep. Much more important than this show. All right. Yeah, we want to get him in the teens for the tribe. To, there's so many ways for this to do 19 damage. 20 can be a bit of a stretch. Is, is this the initiative critter? It is almost. The monarch shows up instead. That's cool. We'll do the thing. We'll lose both sentinel's eyes just to get in. I'm going to do it. It's all about if they can gain life and it, what depending on what we top deck here. I don't represent that much damage. All right. We're going to lose both of our Sentinel's eyes. Actually, I don't even need to do that, do I? I can just do this. Pull it on this. Bloop. Make it unblockable right now. And attack like this. Cause ah Man, I wish I had that solid footing. Alright. We'll play out the seraph. Providing a, a nice bit of goods here. Oh, okay. How did I was that already in the yard and I missed it? Strange. Alright. We'll bring this out. It feels like a bargain for a 2-4 flying lifelink, 4 mana. Seems like it should cost 3 and 2 white, this format. Alrighty, what's it going to target? We get our first uh, omen target this way. Going after that, I guess I'll target this with white. We get all our stuff back unless they have some sort of bazooka bog effect, but I mean, they're probably just going to bring it back with a uh, sort of, what do you call uh Bounce spell. Nope. All right. I really thought that'd be like a sky fisher. Well, they represent uh, blocking the seraph that way. But now I can put one of those uh, sentinel's eyes on the uh, flyer. And see, this is the design space that I was running into where you get these clogged board states. They're gaining just enough life to stay out of range of a really scary tribe. And similar to my white weenie list with, you know, all the uh, artifacts and, and glitters, vigilance is, is king. You just, that is just so good. Now we represent an air attack. I'll get back bodyguard for their little bolt trick that they're probably planning on a double block once we bring back Sentinel's Eyes, and we're good to go. Bring that back. Tempted to, uh, you know, trip this right now, but we might draw a Skyfisher and keep, get the Omen engine online here, so I'll try to play a little more patient. Compass showing up. Don't really need that quite yet. We'll bring this out first. We'll bring out Sentinel's Eyes on this, of all things. How you like them apples? We'll bring out these two. Bloop. 
All right, done. The spells are never done, folks. Woo! Do we do another? There's no reason not to. Let's try it. This one, please. We don't need no uh, solid footing plan. Bam! I think that compass is just better in our hand. Shall we trip the invitation? Yeah, why not? Let's make sure to get the initiative. Tempted to bring out one more land so that I can trip Omen and Scry, but we have to remember we're playing Skyfishers. It just haven't shown up yet. And I tried the Silkbind Fairy. It has that weird un, not untap, but the ununtap symbol. What would you call that? And uh, I was having some fun with that as a attacker slash, but it was getting a little too cutesy. And I, I went with this uh, big old angel right here, which is pretty awesome. All right. No more attackies for us. Probably want to bring in some... Uh, I don't want to play that just because it's going to tempt me to uh, trip it. What do we have here? Another overseer. Okay. Yeah, wedding invitation. Such a cool little card. Thank you, Bacon Master, for the hype. I appreciate it. Yeah, this is getting away from us. We really need to somehow turn off that prismatic strand. We're going to have to bring in our own Dawnbringers to nibble those up. That's the one. Yeah, that was fun. That was some weird combo. I can't quite remember. I was attacking and then untapping and doing the, the defense thing. And so that's... But then, like I said, I arrived at Seraph. It was just so hard to beat that card. One more mana and just a whole lot. See how much trouble it's causing our opponent right now, right? Okay, here we go. This is pretty cool. One, two, three. We'll bring out... Let's just go see what we can see. I had Journey in this for a while. Just lean on the Prismatic Strands plan usually. Yes. Well, it's time for Blessing, folks. I believe this will shut the door the best. Double check here. Yeah, we'll just get on through all this stuff, right? Let's go. Blessing on this. We'll call white. Now we're safe from journey. They're going to have to use quite a bit of their stuff. We're probably not going to gain life this turn, and I'm, I'm turning off this uh, plan here. So I'll, I'll play this out and play the compass too. Kind of ignoring the tribe now. The threat's out of the bag, you know. We're, we're going this way now, right? The, the decision tree is squarely this way. Providing quite a mean little body for uh, them to deal with here. This deck has a strange way of just getting there. Similar to Infect, how um, you know a lot of the math, you're like, oh my goodness, this is powerful, because you know the initial stats of cards weren't ready to support Half Life, right? And the same goes for defensive stats. You you can stumble upon these gems. I mean, we've got a we're hitting for six lifelink in the air with Vigilance. That's pretty That's pretty cool. About the only thing that can get rid of it, we've got an answer to in Benevolent Bodyguard if it's like a double bolt, which we've already seen. Speaking of double bolt, here we go. All right, this is getting spicier and spicier. They're definitely playing a better list. There's no denying that. All right, late to dinner. We might just deck them here, especially games two and three. We can get that plan going here. That's why I wanted to make sure our uh, life was uh, helped out with the uh, Navigator's Compass there because I was pretty sure that they were going to be able to uh, at least gain or, or make us do the trap damage, right? But they're going down the other side of the uh, catacombs here. I've got some nice stats. That angel is really keeping them at bay. Yeah, solid footing. It's no big deal. If we draw the tree on bar, we can still throw it on there, so that'd be pretty fun too. Tree Umbra is the better draw anyway. So then we would hit for eight. <laughs> be cool if we just top deck it. Talk about a good target for uh Skyfisher. I went uh 
I want to thank my mods, Dreamer Stingo and Nimchimsky, for getting back to me. I took all your emails and lists. We shared I shared a version of this list with with my cohorts and had a pretty good time doing that. Uh oh. Bye bye, Pro White. Darn it. Yep. Brutal. Maybe I should have tripped the omen at the upkeep there. That would have been interesting. They have enough ways to kill that. Then I technically could do that. All right. I believe I'm going to trip the omen here. We're just losing so much tempo with Monarch and Initiative here. Kudos to our opponent. This has just been a perfect seesaw battle of having just the answer at just the right time. Obviously, ephemerate helps that. You have all the answers in your graveyard. <laughs> 4 1 showing up. Our protection suite is not available. Now they've got an active ephemerate in hand. Might want to consider uh, enchanting their dudes, huh? All right. Boy, that's a whole lot of damage, ain't it? Let's do the thing. Um, I'll block uh, here. Block here. Block here. And block here. I believe we'll do that that way. Let's see what I'm going to draw first. Don't like that. And don't really like that. Stop two dead draws here. We'll keep tribe around. One down. Two down. Ah. Dignitary, man, they have just got our number. This is just shut down central right now. All right, let's go to, uh, we can't, well, let's see what we're going to draw. All right, we're dead in the water here. That is just, just the, per that's exactly what happens when you got initiative and monarch in the, in the same go, right? You're able to um, just completely have every answer all the time. Let me see here. This is just uh... all righty. Not sure what would be best here. First, let's get rid of things. Get rid of one of these. One of these, one of these. Do we bring in our own strands? I believe we do. Two, but not all four. I think three will be enough. I do want to be messing with their graveyard a bit. Uh, I think we'll go with the Cleric Persuasion. Lose one Bodyguard and maybe a Compass. Let me think about that. I think that's about right. Bandle's such a good card, too. I don't, I don't think there's enough Firepower from Macabre. Maybe I bring in one. Maybe just one. Yeah, the Umbra. Boink! That two toughness backside is pretty awesome. But let's lean on just two of them this time. Let's go. I don't know where our Skyfishers were. We were right on the edge. Just felt like we just needed that one turn. But boy, that initiative and stuff just really chopped us up, didn't it? We've got the combo. We just need Vigilance, so we'll keep this. Our mana's right. We can at least turn off a Graveyard or three. Let's go. Prismatic is so cool in a tribe list. You just discard it. Just completely catch people off guard. Yeah, our Sky Fishers have gone fishing for the day, it seems. Well, we just win if we top deck. Um, do we? Yeah, I think we get them to 19 if we top deck the, um, uh, what do you call, Vigilant Eye thingy. Boop. Did we get it? We did not. 
All right. Bring this out. Tech now. Not quite sure if this is worthy of it right now. Maybe we'll wait till we have it. One damage. I think I'm just going to wait. Learned our lesson that first game, right? Ah, darn it. Always forget something. Got that coffee mist nose thing going down again. All righty. Gaining two life. Not too big of a deal. Okay, let's get this out and call black. And just sit back. Make no mistake. I think we're losing this game. Too much firepower, and we, re we really need a super, super fast start. And um, that early Dawnbringer really screams that they have Ephemerate in their hand. They're just waiting for us to overextend on an enchantment. So I'm trying to slow it down here a little bit. Let's do this. We'll bring out the Pilgrim. We'll go get, um, at this stage, yeah. A lot of interesting decisions here. This might even be better on here. Hmm. I mean, we could just go Sentinel's Eyes now, and then maybe they, they flicker the thing and it, and it goes bad. Blessing will get it through. Do I want the Umbra now? Or the eyes. The eyes have it. Let's try this out. Boop, boom, boom. Here we go. All right. Well, that's kind of silly. We'll discard strands. Yeah, I love Strands and Tribe. It's a nice little combo. Oh, I see. Now he's going to nibble up our yard. All right. Maybe we should have got rid of the planes. Oh, that's nice. Cool. No big deal. I'll just discard the uh, planes and bring back the eyes, depending on what happens here. Okay. God, if we top deck a Benevolent Blessing, that would be pretty fire. Benevolent Blessing. All right, not too bad, not too bad. Let's see here. I don't really want to do too much else with that. Let me discard here. We'll discard the planes. This this might work because we're we're suggesting like we're just doing this so that we can. Oh, I hate eating strands here, but I'm gonna do it. I've already got the other one done. So that we can just trade a lot of. We're at least gonna get a creature out of the deal, right? Now let's attack. Okay. We'll kill that dude. We'll save our save ourselves with the other stuff. All right. Hey, wait. Oh, crap. I forgot to do the thing. All right. Dang it. Bad play on my part. Or maybe not. Yeah, I tried to... Ethereal armor is a... Trying to not make it a uh, enchantment list, right? I'm just trying to stick on the theme. Otherwise, you know, it's just trying to find a new design space, really. All right. Well, we really need some sort of something with benevolent to show up here. Because we're going to get outpaced here again if we don't find some way of making this do stuff. Like fly or something, right? Hmm. Frustration. Let's attack. We'll do this. I'll try the thing now. Bink. Get rid of those. I guess we bring out one more of these guys here. Just to keep our numbers up. Oops. Boop, 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 boom. Let's try this. Huzzah! We'll eat that Dawnbringer. Seen enough uh, shenanigans with stuff coming back from the graveyard that might be one of their plans here. Drat. There it is. Bye-bye, solid footing. It's probably the target. Yep. I 
just knew through their play style that no matter what we got, they're going to be able to uh, mess with our stuff. So that's why I wanted to go with the eyes. So if they did have it, we just keep getting it back technically unless they can really turn on the cleric. So I'm really try trying to turn these things off. It's not that killer of a play right now to... Uh... Okay, yeah, that's better, Paul. Oh, I totally lost you. Yeah, I've seen this list everywhere. It's just like Boros efficiency. Yeah, we've, we've lost. We need a, a benevolent spell like right now. And so they can just fem right back the Sentinels and just get initiative right back, even without attacking. All right, we're going to hang this one up, guys. I know when I'm beat, and it's right there. Boop. I'll just jump right into the next one. And hopefully it's not so graveyard-centric. That was Boros. Yeah. To be expected. We're kind of playing a janky brew today. Just seeing, again, it's why I didn't play, like, you know, Ancestral Mask and turn it into, like, a bad Boggles. We're trying to uh, use Evasion, Climb, and this for a bit of a tribe combo if it happens. But as we saw that first first game this almost got there with a six body and hitting for six but we ran into a prismatic strands wall and it was all over <laughs> yeah it was a tough tough matchup as as a lot of games are probably going to be let's let's be honest now if you there are some types of decks that you can run into with this that you just steamroll and you think it's the next best thing but uh you know this is how innovation happens you, you've got to um got to suffer you got to crash burn got to tinker around but it lets you uncover some old goodies you know like uh like this against uh gosh darn it what's the name of that blade um the new sepulchre the um ah the uh, chainer's edict artifact tithing blade thank you nimchimsky <laughs> so yeah i i like uh, depending on your shell but i think this is a pretty good reasonable answer for that I was considering a recruit the worthy or that one with buyback, but it was just a little too mana hungry, and this at least eats bodies. So let's see how we do here. I'm not gonna lie, this thing has a lot of one mana draws. No matter how many lands I put in, in it, there's just something about this 75. This algorithm just loves giving you one land hands at the beginning. I'm gonna mulligan, and there we go. Yeah, this is a really nice combo here. We're, we're feeling really good here. Yeah, we'll throw back a planes. I've got to be able to draw another one by turn three, right? This is feeling pretty good. Probably the best draw is top decking one of the uh, tricolor lands here. Playing that out first. Maybe not. All right. I got some sort of graveyard shenanigans. Is this one land spy, maybe? Let's open it up and see. It is. This will be fast. Got to get our life gainers in and our graveyard hate in. So my cobs will be coming in ad nauseum. If we live that long, let's see. There's another Sky Fisher. Cool. We'll play this out. Given this scenario, I probably will play Sky Fisher and just bounce land and take the tempo loss. Oh, I didn't know there was new Wild Cantor art in Chimsky. That's pretty cool. Popper Big Butts, yeah. <laughs> That's pretty much what we're playing, Jester Among Fools. Well said. I sure wish I could find a way to make some walls attack, because, man, there were some two drops that are like one fives. It's like, oh, that's spicy. All right, Omen of the Dead showing up. We're going to lack synergy here and just... Uh, Go for the basic plan of attack. Bring back that snow. Bonk. Not the best play, but we're not doing anything in the meantime, so let us see. I don't believe they have many ways of messing with our stuff. I could imagine a sideboard and a list like that might run a snuff out, but probably not. That avatar that our opponent's using looks just like one of my friends. Yeah, there's the new, I almost, there was that new flip, um, 
what is it? Uh, it's not an ornithopter, but it's a flip card in white, and it turns into a 2-4 flyer. But there's so much stuff that had to be done to make that thing work. And I'm like, eh, one more. One more attack than a Skyfisher. I'm like, I ain't going to play it. It's a janky brew, but it's not that janky. We're still trying to win a few here, right? Why do I play it like this? Because, you know, this is how new ideas form or or gel or you find some like, oh, you know, this part sucks, but this has potential. And if you got the blinders on of like boggles, use enchantments, and you can, the design space can shrink really fast. All right. We don't really have a turn to play here, so we might as well play the Heath. We'll call Swamp on this so we can activate our Omen. We'll put the eyes on here. The eyes have it. We'll attack for three. Next turn, it'll be six. If nothing changes. Bit of a clunky pull here. Got them on a pretty quick clock if they uh, get a little careless. Always scary when they drop the pedal. It usually means they're going to go. Seen that. Seen that. Seen that. And here we go. We have zero interaction here with our main right now, so whoop. pedal on the metal <laughs> and go. Barret B. How many creatures do they got? It's probably more than 20, 26. Bloop. And they're running the dread return plan and all that stuff. So we'll see the combo work. It's not like it's going to take it forever, so... This is one land spy. Draw the L already. <laughs> That'd be funny if we have uh, prismatic strands right now. Be like, ha-ha! That could get a little... We'll throw this out just so we can activate Omen and in, in the weird case that they slip up and mess up the combo here. I doubt they're going to. There it is. Sacrifice. There they come. Boom, boom, boom. Not that we were, like, going to win the next turn. We'll let this do the thing. Are they planning on attacking first? Interesting. All right, on the lock. Yep. It's supposed to rain all weekend here. Between that and football, it's feeling nice and wintry. That would have been so funny to have prismatic right there. It's just rotting rats into that. This looks just like our our list when I played with the uh, rotting rats. I think that's a good call. All right. Let's bring in the super hate. Bloop. And some life and some of all this stuff. Oh, come. Yeah, they know what's coming. Drat. Quitters. Hate them. Making a note to go back and block that person. It's like... Here's this awesome combo, and everything beats it after game one, and now I'm going to run away and hide like a little coward. Boom, boom, boom. Switch of libations. Ha-ha. Here we go. And, you know, we're always uh, checking out options to change as we move along, but... I'm liking the mana. Everything's feeling pretty good. This does need draw, but again, I tried lead the stampede in winding way. I even looked at the uh, union of the third path. Just nothing really screamed helpful. These 16 creatures kind of belies the deck when you, you play like the, uh, what do you call, uh, lead the stampede. It's There were a few times it just missed all of them. It was just, here's some lands, here's some other stuff you don't need, and go. All right. I like this. We'll probably... We'll see what our opponent's on. Keep... Yeah. Everybody go do yourself a favor. Find that username and go block them. It's like, I'm afraid of sideboards. That was going to be ugly. So we can gain life and we can kill combos right out of the grave. So... All right, so a change of plans here. We'll probably play Heath and then turn two Compass Bodyguard because we see a, 
a lot of damage across from us. And that's why we like this compass. There's something so pleasing to the eye about this art. And this is also a cool draw, right? Baron's into that. Maybe we do that straight out. Change of plans. We'll save this for another time. Bloop. I'd like to get a Skyfisher online. Return that compass. Eat another three points of damage so that compass feels like it's going to gain six life because Skyfisher will probably die. We'll see. Oh, I don't mean blocking them that way. I just mean you can actually um, right-click on people's names on MTGO and just block them, and then they don't end up being able to challenge you and stuff like that. That's that's what I mean. Now people do it, then they're like, hey, wait, nobody wants to play, and then the bad people leave the game. Bit extreme for a one-time trespass, but what are you going to do? It's like they have their, their fun turn, and then they're like, I'm not going to let you have yours. <laughs> it's like, oh, screw that. Well, now we have an option to get Skyfisher back, so let's do it. How do we do it? We go like this. We turn this barren land into an oasis of options. Plains. Yo. Boop. Boop. Time to gain life and block everything that moves and bring it back with Omen of the Dead until our combo shows up. Doink. There we go. So our Skyfisher will probably be dead next turn. So we'll play um, Compass, Omen, Heath, Bodyguard. I wouldn't want to be relying on a Compass and one basic for a snuff out plan. I haven't found Prismatic's usually the way out of most combat situations. Cool. So we've gained six life. Avoiding that. Okay. Bye-bye, bodyguard. I'm starting to feel very smart between Brute Squad being like, now with glitters, it's kind of like, not Brute Squad. Um, yeah, Brute Squad. And a lot of the uh, metagame seems to look like that. And now people are playing Seal of Fires again and stuff. And I've always thought that was a very underplayed card. Okay, we're taking some damage. We'll bring it right back. Let's play out. Oh, compass, compass. That'd be funny as hell. Bloop. Maybe that's all we do. Compass, compass. Play this out. Let's call black. Man is all right. Play another compass. Sure. Subscriber tier one. Wow. Thank you for that. Dofiguru2021. Appreciate ya. Let's see if I can make our red opponent all depressed here with all this life-gaining bounce shenanigans. Maybe once we show Omen, they'll be like, God darn it. Bring in the artifact removal. We like seeing a mountain drop. That's one less damage to our dome. <laughs> Red. There's another. Okay, Skyfish is going to be DOA. I wanted to do that double compass just because of uh, the nature of our opponent, but also because when we omen again, we're going to be uh, returning the, the, uh, the omen, not, not the compass, for at least that first time. We need some blockers. All right, I guess we bring out bodyguard fish. Oh, this this will help. We can just play this. No sense in any sort of tempo loss. All righty. So we'll play we'll play the black. We'll get the uh, you know who back. Play the bodyguard first. So that seal of fire won't be an option, at least for a double seal. Say yes to that. Let's turn this on here. Make this white. Yes. 
make this white. The default. That's kind of a nice. I said okay. All right, now we're gonna say white, white. Play the bodyguard first. I'll play the skyfisher for the omen. Cause stuff's going to die. Played two omens for the longest time. Got down to one. I sure wish it was an aura so that we could fetch it. All right. At least we have some blockers now. I guess you seal the bodyguard right now. Maybe. Yeah. That way I can't pro red it in response and then block. So, but I'm just going to be blocking all day long. This, if we win this first game, it'll be a long one because we haven't done any damage yet. We're just damage control. Trying to grind them out. Whoo, here we go. More carnage showing up. Let's help in. Are they going to trip the synth? I sure would. How do you mean, Dreamers Tango? How would that change it? Seems like the card errata would be the exact same to me. Called Doth the Rebirth shows up. They have no way of using that. Okay. No attackies. Huh, I thought, I, thought they would. Okay. Well, we can just get that back. Um, this might actually be a nice little combat trick here. Let's let's play out an imitation just so we've got options. See what we're gonna draw. Oh, I didn't know that. Good to know. Thank you, my friends. All right. There's no tribe plan here, so let's do the thing. We'll do this. I'll get back bodyguard. Play bodyguard. And sit back. I really want that tree ombra to show up or something with vigilance. It's very key in this matchup when you grind them down like this. All right. Solid footing, nice little combat trick. Yikes, that's going to be hard to get around. This is a lot of damage. Might solid footing the bodyguard. <laughs> They're hitting us with that. Okay. Well, I just thought I had my phone on mute. Sorry about that. Not sure why. Alrighty. Should we do it now, just so I can trade? I do want to be able to trade. Let's see, white planes. Put this on here. Can at least trade here. I don't think we're winning this game. Four is at least going to get through. Yeah, let's do that. Coming on through. Don't think we live here, but just in case. Two, four, six. 10, 12, yep, that's a perfect damage. We're dead. Bloop. A lot of L's here. <laughs> Just killed us. All right, let's see if they run away because they know what's coming. We'll bring these in. I think that's probably where we want to be. I uh, don't think Tribe's going to be getting through. So let's take out all but one. 
Although the tribe by itself is a better blocker because of the prismatic, but I don't really want to be instigating that. Um, this might be cool too, but uh, yeah, let's do that. Let's see how we do here. I think it I can hear it raining outside. It always rains when I'm either doing my show or it's in the middle of the night. Never lets me see it. Darn it. We got some old school uh, commercials from like 1994 to show you all. I think I've only aired those once. Try to keep things fresh, every, you know, about every six months or so. But uh, they're just super old, hard to find commercials from MTG, from like local channels and, you know, the local news reporters talking about some new game and stuff. And it's all fuzzy and VHS and you can't even tell what some of the what some of the cards are. It makes it all the more fun, right? Illusionary rain. Yes. That's definitely what it is. Ha! Yeah, this one's cool because it doesn't even need the uh, vigilance trick, you know, trick of the words here with the uh, combat damage switcheroo. It's like, except. But as time goes on, these things will just continue to be printed. So there might be, there's about face. Remember that one. No lands. Mulligan this one. Quite a few lands. We'll keep this one. Throw back a bodyguard. Play cleric. Just wait for it to die. Not the best plan. Keep. Bye bye, bodyguard. Done. And Heath for the green. Let's go. Bloop. Here we are. Trick here is, man, if we can mimic that first game with that Seraph Angel with, like, Vigilance, that's going to be huge. I've got to get there first. And we have to draw it. <laughs> Any of you in the chat think of a good spell that would be white-worthy that could draw cards? Like, almost like a, a sign in blood, but for white, like, what would it do? Would it mill itself? Would it require... Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Yeah, we'll bring we'll bring out the cleric here. See if it's worthy of removal. Probably is. All right. Let's gain some life. Secret rendezvous. That's not proper legal, is it? I don't think so. It's not in my memory bank. My son got the new, um, well, it's not new, but the, the Bastion soundtrack that I like to use so much, that game was really good. And they, about five or six years ago, they came out with one called Hades, the same composer and designer. And so he got that and he's playing the hell out of it in the other room. Every once in a while I can hear the tunes. All right. There's a gunner. It's when you want to just draw a, uh, a basic past the turn and then they go all out with the bushwhacker plan. Like a rebirth bushwhacker, and you're like, aha, and then you rebuild with strands. So the whole reason I was playing this is because it, it, I was winning about 55% with this. We still have yet to write a W, though, so it's getting grim, folks. I guess we double bodyguard. It at least represents a a life stick blocker and being able to flash back a prismatic eventually. Yeah, I guess that's White's thing, right? Everything's got to be balanced, so if you draw a card, your opponent does too. That kind of sucks. I'm trying to think of a... When I think about it, yeah, it's always, it always has been kind of the drawback for White. Okay, synthesizer showing up. I can at least get rid of an Epicure and not take any damage the way it sits right now. Oh boy. Well, let's stop that at least. Red. I'm surprised they had that in against us. Bodyguard's like the only thing that helps. Pop 
up again, of course, white has to be balanced. They even created the card balance. Yeah, that's one of my very favorite magic cards. Most most powerful card in magic, I would argue. Okay, we'll just block. Frustrating turn from our opponents. Probably going to be met with, come on, just show us a basic here. We are so dead in the water here, guys. All right, uh, I think I'll take it just because of the threat of strands here. I'd love to get a swamp out of the deal, but we don't have the one omen in our list, and I think it's a little uh, risk-averse to uh, go that route in the decision tree. Speaking of tree folk, it kind of reminds me of the Avatar, you know, when he when he turned into the Aqua Spirit in the in the first season of Avatar The Last Airbender, which I've been taking a huge deep dive. I know I mentioned that show last week as far as... Uh, is this worthy? I think it is. Let's at least get a creature out of the deal. Do the obvious thing here. It's not worth a blessing, but it is worth a strands. Let's do it. See if they've got flaring pain. They might. It is game two. Red. I love the new, or I don't love it. I like the new prismatic art of, of the new reprint better, but I'm I'm just so um, used to seeing that that, and I'm such a visual learner that that's if I play with the new art, I'll, I'll make misplays. It's really weird. All right, so we ignore that damage as well. Pilgrim showing up, I like that. It represents more damage and then a way out. Let's do this. Boy, at this stage, vigilance is quite a good thing here. The Umbra represents that hitting for four. That's pretty cool. Yes, I want to use the ability. What a dumb question. All right, we've already got the blessing in hand. The Umbra's active. I think we're going to go with eyes here, guys, because uh, they're just attacking like crazy on the ground. And if I can just uh, keep things balanced, we'll be fine. And I do love the new Inspector because I've never been a fan of the artwork of Theremin Inspector. And that new reprint's just that card, but with better art. All right, here we go again. So rather than do that, let's just uh, flash this back. Call red. This allows our Pilgrim to live if they have some sort of instant in their hand. Red. Ooh. So now I think we've got the Sentinel's Eyes, and then we sit back on Benevolent Blessing and wait for Tree Folk for the next turn. I think that's how I want to roll with this. Because the Sentinel's Eyes can kind of bait out if they do have a uh, bolt, which they'd have to consider the bodyguard there. This plan just got much easier. This is an even trade here. Do they do the thing? All right. I'm going to... Let's get a little aggro now. I'll just do this now. I've got the bodyguard right there. I'll call red. Building the perfect beast. Is there a new Theremin Inspector? With new art? They must have a bolt here. They've taken a really long time. Yeah, okay. No to that. Well, there's saving four damage here. Bloop, red. Call red again. Fortunately, we can't gain life with this, but it's going to represent a, quite a big roadblock here. Stop me if you've heard this one before, because, you know, we're going to be hitting for uh, six if we draw a basic, but uh, five next turn. They can't do much about it. So we've got them on about a three-turn clock, but uh, we're not out of the woods here. I mean, even if they draw lands, they got enough blood tokens to really stay in it. A bushwhacker, and all of a sudden, you know, we're in single digits, so... We've got to get a little lucky here. 
and they can always trip that synth and block. They pop in this, yeah, that's what I figured. Okay, mountain shows up. I like our opponent's chances here. Okay, that makes me feel better. Menace will get through, though. Darn it. Come on over. Guess you got to, right? Diminishing returns. We're still taking five. We'll be taking that next turn, too, so yikes. Life gain, please. Well, that's interesting. Represents another body, right? Hmm. I believe this might be the play. Another pilgrim here. Doesn't feel like we can win this one. Yeah, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on that. Do we play another body? Do we play another body? Let's play another body here. Pilgrim, I guess we get another Benevolent Blessing. Or not, let's see. I mean, we've got plenty of cards here. Just need to top deck a basic here. Yes, <laughs> I can click on no. I guess we go Blessing. Really need Prismatic Strands or a basic to show up here. No reason to not attack. They might block with the token, we'll see. Sentinel's Eyes, hell of a card, I love it. This will throw their math off a little bit. There's no surprise in the Blessing here. But I do believe we can just Sentinel's Eyes and Blessing again next turn, and then just we'll just have Roadblock City, and since Prismatic Strands and Basics are ignoring us. It's a suffering list, right? Just got to eke out the wins. One good thing about that damn Ox, boy, when that did get through, it was like game over. It's kind of an all-in. It's trying to build this a little bit more balanced. Got to head out, says Mind Step Throw. Body is still tired. Good good on you for listening to your body. We'll see you next week, probably with a judge's familiar list. And if any of you have some out there that you're really proud of and it's well thought out, send it to popagain at gmail.com. We'll give it a look-see. Make sure to say in the body of the uh, email if it was your idea or not so we can give you credit and maybe we'll play it and no shortage of submissions the last few weeks months whatever boy they really went hard in the paint with that end of the festivities that's the third one because you can always double them up it's making me nervous they're getting through all their crap draws here I sure do like those Japanese art-influenced lands. Those are gorgeous. All right. Do we get rid of the big problem in the room or the other? Let's just go with that. You know what? Let's get rid of that and one of these. There. And then we don't have any blockers in our way. It's two damage regardless. Boop. Or at five. This is getting scary. Come on now. Bodyguard showing up. Okay, I still think we just do the plan here. Or, you know what? Cancel that. Play the bodyguard. God, I hate, I just want to put my foot on the gas here, but I'm going to play the bodyguard. They know we have blessing, so this makes sure that blessing hits. A frustrating series of our sequence here. It doesn't get that big right now, but at least we're pro red here. I won't attack with it because I want to kill um, you know who. Bloop. Let's attack with this one though. Two bolts away from just doming us to the face here, but we can at least block the uh, menace guy now. Gosh, <laughs> our opponent. I'm kind of liking how many bodyguards we're drawing because it's going to make them want to keep in the festivities and. 
Uh oh. Top deck mode city. Zicard. Okay. Boy, do I need prismatic strands. Only good thing is our opponent's hellbent. A very bad thing? All right. Two life. Technically. Well, one's with the other. I think we're kind of dead no matter what here. Do I take the damage there? I believe we do. Let's block... Here, here, and here. I take one, I get rid of the menace creature. Prismatic, please! Prismatic! The numbers are overwhelming us, just like in a Lord of the Rings movie, right? There's just so many goblins. It's like, they're easy to kill, but not when there's too many out there. Oh, we're dead. This is death time. Can't take more than one damage. Let's see what we draw. Doink. Winning invitation. Into loss. Into that. That really blows. All right. Writing another L. Going to go get some coffee. Regroup. Our opponent gets us this time. We'll concede here. And we'll roll to 1994, and I'll be back right after this. But first, one of the greatest game crazes of all time. It's the Magic Card. Last summer, Wizards of the Coast released an innovative trading card game called Magic the Gathering. In the game, each player starts off with their own deck of collectible trading cards and competes with other players to win new cards and to get better decks. Sort of like poker. The starter decks come with 60 cards, and each player needs at least 40 cards to compete. When the cards became available, Wizards of the Coast could not have expected the demand and had to go back to press. Their first series of cards have black borders and reprints have white borders, thereby satisfying the insatiable demand of collectors and fans alike. Some of the auctions and things have card prices going anywhere from about six to eight dollars. Of course, initially with the black border cards, prices were really getting out of hand for a while, going up to a twelve to twenty dollars card. Actually, I've heard of one person who quit his college job because he found that brokering magic cards was more profitable. The cards depict lands, artifacts, creatures, and spells. Many characters' names were made up for the game. The original gathering list, the gathering, uh, was mostly made up names. They came from, uh, they came from uh, an imaginary world which we call uh, Dominia. And uh, uh, so we're trying to develop each as we explore new parts of Dominia, we'll come out with a new set of cards for that area. New card ideas are forthcoming from both Richard and the staff. Well, Richard designed the initial game, and other, others of us would uh, propose new card ideas. And so right now, uh, mainly everything, everything that's, that's done now is, is uh, what Richard did. And hopefully, uh, well actually right now in the stores, there's a, a new release coming out, which is uh, extra cards that Dave and I designed. Uh, a release called Antiquities, and they're just new card ideas. Uh, booster packs are car uh, 16 cards in a pack, or 8 for smaller releases, and it gives you a chance to improve your deck without having to go out and buy a whole... The Marie Lagia. If you are going to drink like a wizard, then you must release the beast. Marit Lager. Crack the ice and release your beast. Available at all fine Sigur Superstores. Worm would like to remind you to drink responsibly. And we're back. All right, let's hopefully, new bladder, new coffee. Maybe we'll have a new set of victories here, because so far all we've been doing is losing. Ah, a little too slow to get there, implement the plan. Makes you always second guess yourself, right? Maybe the uh, giant ox was worth it. Hitting for like nine with the Umbra effect or whatever. Well, actually that's eight. But uh, yeah, so this is what I'm gonna be trying to build something around next week. Nice little flying critter. Sacrifice it. One of them keep keep them guessing sort of things. Maybe a manatee, the force spike, Azorius like air list or something like that. <laughs> There's the drakes too. A lot of people forget about the drakes, the little one ones that uh, do the thing. 
Make sure I'm up and running. Yes, we are. Here we go. Let's go. Woo, Feklar. Yeah, I want to play first. Cool. Keep. Let's do it. I said keep. Bonk. All right. Uh, let's just hope we get really... Well, we can't get too lucky, can we? We'll bring out a tribe. We can protect it at least from damage. Yeah, there's quite a few drakes that you can sacrifice to do cool stuff with. It's another red list. Maybe we'll be able to uh, survive. Is that the word I'm looking for? Bonk. Bodyguard shows up. Okay. Let me do this. Bring out the compass. We'll bring out a bodyguard. Is this worth attacking? Probably not going to be blocking. Let's pass. Deja vu. Lots of little red critters. I need some vigilance and a sideboard. Hmm. Well, now I we can do both. I guess we just do this now, right? Yeah, I'm just gonna blessing now. Call red. Oop. And sit back and do nothing. At least we can uh, block and kill something, though. Might be fun to uh, solid footing the bodyguard and block a token, right? Just to get tempo. <laughs> Said no one ever. What well, we got? Bushwhacker? Is it going to be that quick of a game? All right, good. Makes you wonder if you should be playing Prismatic Main. Then you start going down the commune with the gods angle, and then it turns into, like, so many other lists that I build. So if you're wondering, that's why I didn't go that way. Forcing myself to not go over those uh, typical routes. You know, at this stage, I'm just going to block. I don't know if I can pull that off. I guess we just take the three block here. I was considering a solid footing play. You know what? Let's do it. Um, we're not that desperate. Let's count. Cancel this. Cancel this. We'll block here. I'll just take the damage. It'd be kind of weird to put a benevolent blessing on my bodyguard, but I'm considering it. Stem the bleeding here while we wait for it. Okay, now this makes it a lot easier to, to uh, implement. I'm going to throw this on here because we have the other one. And I'm just... I'm not going to futz around. We might be able to pull a a removal spell out of the deal, but I'm just trying to get things right here. Now, this is a pretty hard board to attack into. Pro red, pro red. And we'll load up our hand. Hopefully, eventually, no bushwhackers show up. Hmm. Uphill battle for sure. Sounds like my son's playing percussion with the dishes out in the other room. There it is. All right. Well, at least we get two of these down. Blop, bloop. We'll kill one of these and this guy. And we're at eight. <laughs> Going to go with the vigilance here. Solid footing we've got. Sentinel's Eyes is probably the better call. Or the Umbra. That might be nice. Yeah, if I'm going to attack, though, I, I need to be uh, being able to block here, too. So I'm actually going to bring out the Eyes. Feels pretty underwhelming to do it that way, but... Ah! Eight life. <laughs> Eliot's Pilgrim versus the world. Uh, 
I was gonna remember game one. We should we should lose this one. If we can pull this off, it'll be cool. No attackies. That's a good sign. All right. Ooh, I like this a lot. Yeah, I guess let's let's call this on white, and we'll return. I guess we have to play it though, huh? It's probably worth more than the eyes. The eyes have it. Skyfisher. Bring back this. Right. Yeah. Two there. Another bushwhacker. I think we're okay for a turn. Famous last words. Put the eyes on here. Try to get some sort of attack going here. Oh, I know all about Pintark Ward. That was in the original White Infect list before they printed Benevolent Blessing. Does draw you a card, two and a white, though. Cool artwork on it, that's for sure. Am I going to live to regret not playing out that compass? Come on, don't be another... Oh, my God. <laughs> of course, if I go that route, then they got us that way. All right, felt like we were going to turn the corner there, but good grief. That's... Frustrating. We'll do that. All of our life stuff in. I'm not even sure I want to have an Omen of the Dead style engine here. Compass definitely. Because we could lose on a few of these. We'll go like this. Bloop. Hey, oh, Popper Tim. We're playing Super Jank today. Because last week we did so well, I didn't want to turn this into a spike channel. So we're throwing together a whole lot of slop. I call this one switch. We're just going with all defensive stats with a little bit of tribe combo plan and the Umbra and the solid footing for the surprise value that has never happened yet. Happens plenty when I'm playing. Hit that go live button and all of a sudden your deck starts hiding from you. But oh well. A lot of good theories, just not very good results yet. Yeah, I've had some standard bearer boggles matchups where it's just all about the standard bearer, piling it up to like a 16-16. Good times. This used to just be such a mainstay, it's kind of neat to see it again. And then they, what was that, that cal mycoderm? There was a three and a white thing that people used to, be hell-bent on building around um, tokens. And they would always play this, and they would always play the Mycoderm, including me. And then, and then suddenly, everybody went a different direction. There it is. And you will say yes. Uh-oh. Mulligan. Two lands, an invitation, and some protection. Mm, nah, I guess we keep it. Get rid of a Skyfisher. Or a Bodyguard. Skyfisher. Done. Tough road. Okay, let's open up the yards. Blah, 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 blah. Be nice if our sideboard showed up, but we are mulliganing against a pretty aggro list here. This might be able to eat a uh, bolt effect. There he is. Pretty cool. All right. Boy, you know what? I think I want to play Skyfisher here. Bounce a land. It's a very awkward play. I just want that to live and be able to trade. If I can get that blessing on there, a Skyfisher is pretty, pretty mean at this stage of the game with Pro Rat on it. I want to see land screw. Nope. All right. Okay. Alrighty. Enough of 
of that. Let's bring this in here. I could technically wait for, you know, some sort of instant, but they might have another one right behind it and then the game's over. So I'm just going to pass here. Bodyguard's just a blocker at this stage. We've already got our pro red up. No bushwhacker. Come on. Can't have it every time. All right. That'll find it, though. <laughs> Lightning taken down me. All right, I'll say no. Got to keep in mind with our uh, little compass stuff, we might be able to uh, chain them right back. All right. Not bad. Let's see what the Heath, I mean, the wedding invitation turns up. Might be something better. All right, Heath action showing up. Got to go green. Boink. We do not have a compass plan yet. We'll sit back, play the defensive game. Once we get Vigilance, that Umbra is going to be nice on a Skyfisher. But until then, we're kind of dead. Okay. Nope. Really need to start drawing a... Uh... They have another artifact? They do not. They're just going to kill us, kill us. My goodness. Well, at least we're only taking two of those blasts, but still, that's a lot of damage. Doesn't feel like we're going to wiggle out of this one. Oh, to do that or that. Let's bring this back out. Very underwhelming so far. All the damage going to our face taking a lot mm. oh prismatic where are you please I fear a bushwhacker in our future alrighty We could maybe find a Dawnbringer here. No, that's pretty good though. Gain three. <laughs> Learn our hard lessons here. It's like if I go real quiet, it they might not draw good. I haven't tested out leather armor in a while. I remember it working completely different before the Serpent showed up with Ward already built into a lot of the new cards. I remember, and there's the video to prove it, that it would waste spells. It wouldn't remind you to use Ward. If you targeted it, then it was just, that's it. It's over. That was cool. I don't know if it's worded a little bit differently on leather armor and, that, and it still works that way or if it was a bug or what, but I remember that being a pretty mean little trick. Okay, this is make or break time. Let's block. Now, block here. I'm afraid that this is just going to get huge, but I, I have to chance this. Just going to try to kill stuff here. Let's see if this works. Oh, God. This is painful. Two, four, six, seven. Dead. <laughs> Super dead. Oh, my God. Yeah. No brainer. <laughs> We're dead. <laughs> Blop. Dead meat. Anything coming up? Hey, that would have been nice. Oh, well. Create. Let's keep the punish train rolling. So we lose again to red. Went perfect last week. Looks like we're going to have perfect defeat this week. Definitely not a viable deck, as we're proving here. 
build this lifelink and four compasses main we we haven't had enough uh, against it which is weird because I guess our opponents are just drawing better than they were against me all week because I've been able to play pretty even with a lot of uh, lists out there but not today yeah I want to go first okay this is nice and balanced I'll keep it Mono white bearer. That, that would throw some people off. There are some ideas like a standard bearer main like that with four of, or you could even go with the big dude, the two four coalition honor guard. But uh, you bump into the right meta game, all of a sudden it's just unbeatable game one. That's pretty cool. The punish train. We are on it. All aboard. At least we've got a sky fisher into that play. Representing some damage if we draw another basic here. Another mountain, of course. What is the deal? Three goblin lists in a row. Did they just win the challenge or something and everybody's back on it again? I do not know. Really tempted to not do this, but I'll bring back this. I'll probably get bolted, but if that lives, we'll be all right. Especially with the uh, Sentinel's Eyes back up here. I really hope they don't kill the Skyfisher, but they probably will. Yep, bye-bye. Mm-hmm. Oh, where is my Orem's Cure? We have been laid to rest two in a row. This might be the third in a row here with this uh, red list again. I just write red now. <laughs> Compass, compass, why not? Nothing else to do. We need a creature to show up. Hmm. Yeah, I guess you wait on that, don't you? I was expecting about a 2-3 today, or a 1-4, but uh, I always knew an 0-5 was a possibility, but looks like it's turning into a reality. Of course, that quitter, we could call that a, a win, right? I could say we're 1-4. I always like to keep things really honest with y'all, and, you know, yes, I'll be uploading this. Like, it's now. With solid footing. Do I return the land? I think I do. Let's return the land. Play the land. Pass the turn. Solid footing is a nice little combat trick here if we can get around three damage. Okay, they didn't EOT it, so maybe they don't have one. That's good. Don't show us a bolt, because I don't I can't defend two bolts. Rebirth, alright. I've seen quite a few mono red lists. The Tron one that uh Sidid Rankin was playing this week was pretty cool. I like that. Didn't do too good in the in the uh, league though. I think he went like two three or three two. What do we got? It's got one floating. What is this? It's going to bolt it. All right. Well, we get to at least take down one of these big bad fatties, but we probably have a you-know-what right behind this, so dang it. Let's throw this on there. Maybe they forget to attack. Now it's really raining. I love it. He sure is. He always wears that Lake Tahoe hat. I was like, hey, that's where I'm from, too. Menace, getting around some goods here. All right. We are at 19, but boy, we're just one thing away from that just not working. Okay, folks. Uh, yeah, I guess we just do this, and we do the Umbra thing next turn. Darn it. I want to keep this back in case they got like use up a double bolt on us here. Let's... <laughs> I 
<laughs> if I lost my solid footing. Yeah, it's been about three or four of, of all these years. We've had some shows like that where it's like, oopsie. Will my plan work? Let's see. Are they going to use the other one? I hope so. No. Oh, I love when a plan comes together. Ha ha. We save five damage. Red. Oh my god, is the deck going to work for once? I know. Look, it was right once and <laughs> wrong nine other times. <laughs> Let's block here, because that one's hard to block later. All right, 12, they got the numbers. I gotta start turning up the heat. Woo, that's pretty cool, but this is even cooler. They both do the same thing. So let's do this to here, call in green, forest. We'll go this, 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 put this on here. Attack for seven. Yeah, our draws haven't been all that great, but. It was hard for me to not play the Ox version of this because I know I, I I hinted at that in the uh, community tab chat, but. Uh... Man, we still might lose this one. We got this huge flying answer and it's just like, nope. Dead meat. We're at five. We're dead next turn. But we've got the win in hand because of solid footing. Oh, just enough. We did it. We can write a W. Was that the first game or the second? <laughs> that was the first game. We won the first game. All right, we've got the pilgrims to find those when we need them, so we'll do that. Get out of the solid footing business here. All together. We just need to stay alive. Well, let's go. A magnificent victory. <laughs> I'm being quiet because the rain sounds really nice outside. Hmm. Considering Yosin's soldier, too, that has vigilance already. That was game one. I better make sure to write that accurately. That was there. This hasn't happened yet. Well, our mana's right. That's about the only good thing about this hand. We do have a draw here. I think I got a mulligan this. That's five lands. Mulligan. Keep this one. We'll keep our lands because we've got options here. I guess we get rid of tribe here. Yeah, done. Boy, if they can kill that compass, little do they know that would really ruin our plans. I have Dark Ritual without a Yoshin Soldier plenty back in the day. That was actually a good play. Now it's terrible. All right. Do like that. <laughs> it's like, hey, tribe, where'd you go? But that is only one turn. I'll be nullified here. If I draw a basic, I might consider waiting because then we can prismatic drop Skyfisher and have a prismatic effect to keep Skyfisher around so that we can block with it later. Arizona's a strange state, Jester. Been through it quite a few times. It's just, it's so, everybody always thinks of it as a desert and there's so many foresty areas and elk everywhere and 
highlands and pretty fascinating place. All right. Oh, I like that. Yeah, I think I'm just going to play this out and pass. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so we've got our white. I guess we've got to go green. There's our there's our white basic rate. Just anticipating we're not going to drop a uh, basic next turn, so I want to be able to have our... Oh, we only have one creature, and I want to be able to protect it, so... Hopefully this is more of a development. Good. No bushwhacker. That's good. We'll still be in the teens here. Our play will be very telegraphed. It's very obvious what we're going to be doing. <laughs> Three mana sources, white deck pass. It's like, okay, somebody's got strands. Good. Okay, that was pretty uneventful. Okay, I don't mind that. Here we go. So this way we're going to be able to flash back the uh, protection for the Skyfisher next turn. Prismatic Stranding no matter what here. They're probably going to bolt, bolt while it's on the stack. That'll suck. Let's see if they're going to flash back that blood token or anything, right? Oh, I got to play Pickleball for the whole tournament this time. Felt really good. So I was all back in... Full health action, played for like three or four hours and didn't have any ailments or sciatica act up at all. So I really expected we were going to get bolted in response there. That's interesting. So that's good. And if it, the rain isn't too bad in the morning, I'll be playing then too. So. Wow, Nemtimsky. That's a talk about your tragic slip. Good grief. Hope you're all right, my friend. All right. We already have that pack. So we just play the play the land, I think, since we didn't Well, we could hmm, this is strange. Maybe we skyfisher return the forest, play benevolent blessing and then uh, have prismatic backup. Or do we just gain the life now? I like the first line. It's so strange with head trauma how um, it's all about like not resting, like that immediate you know concussion thing. I wonder why that is. Is there a neurologist or a doctor in the chat? <laughs> Always wondered that. My mom, I got in a, I was had some snow jump way back in the day, and uh, ended up hitting my head, and you know I had. A fear of a concussion and they were just so terrified that I was going to go to sleep you know it's like you might not wake up or whatever that uh, it was just so what's oh, just weird it's like why does your body want to kill itself and it's like rest is usually how you re recuperate but not when it comes to that <laughs> Memphis rain is not it's about not being able to monitor progression properly hmm. if you're well enough to make puns you're fine I like that line of thinking Yeah, it's like, can you say a dad joke? All right, you're, you're good. Hmm, okay, now I'm going to attempt to do the thing first. We'll call white on this, planes. Because if they respond to it, we still have prismatic in the art. White here, blessing. Flashback. It's just going to cost them three bolts to get rid of this. Somebody wasn't thinking. Red. Boop. And another one behind that. Memphis ran with the knowledge. 
Our opponent thinks they're going to do, do us damage, but prismatic has already happened. So this is kind of a, maybe they're having a Marit Lager, one too many. You know, it's funny you say that, totally lost. It's sorry to hear that, but you know, I've, I've had this back soreness from overdoing it with yoga and, and just literally like muscle spasms and just way too much. And I sneezed two days ago when I was all better and totally just racked my back. And uh, it was like the most painful sneeze ever. I was like, what on earth? All right, this is feeling pretty winnable now. Opponent doesn't seem to know how prismatic works. <laughs> we have saved about six damage. I will prismatic strands here. There's no reason not to. Better than taking four. Alleviate any sort of attack scenarios. Bloop. Plus, builds up. Keeps those volume pressure draws from happening. All right. Now we can win it. Or not win it, but almost. Now we'll go get the... Uh, I think we left one in the list. Or did I take them all out? <laughs> Either way, we'll be all right. Are we going to... 2-0, a, a red list, finally. Prove that I wasn't making it all up. All right, I guess we get the Umbra here. Attack. Here we go. <laughs> totally lost. Yeah, I was fearing that sneeze. I was like, man, it just racked. I was like, oh, <laughs> aging sucks. I'm sure if I was in like a 20-year-old body or my teenager, I'd be over this in like 24 hours or a good night's sleep. But yeah, nothing feels better for me than just laying on a hardwood floor flat and just doing very slow stretches, legs to the side, or just laying flat. Feels so good. Okay, whoa, this got interesting. I think I'd rather hold off. Let's try to win more. Bloop. Seraph, I'd much rather have that hitting for six with life gain. We're gonna win. It's a miracle. Whoa. Now, there's no artifacts, so the only thing we have to worry about is double lightning bolt. All right. Hey, look at that. It's this weird thing called a win. Check it. Woo. Good times. I got to use the restroom again. I'm going to play one more because we had that quitter, so we won't even count that one. I'll be right back right after some uh, ninja chucks. <laughs> life is an otherworldly journey that is far from easy. The consuming vortex of an ever-changing metagame can leave your house of cards feeling bombarded with endless scenarios and worry of what's next. But one company has your best interests in mind. 
clarifying your uncertainties with hope and solid footing. Weather the storm. Insurance for the common mage. All right, anybody catch that solid footing reference there? There's a lot of private jokes in that one. Here we go, last one of the day. We've been losing so fast that it's a pretty fast show. Yeah, I want to play first. Lee Majors, Jedi. Woo! What a horrible hand. Mulligan. Good hand. Yeah, it's not that great. We'll keep it. What do we put back? Put back Jack. I guess we'll put that. Done. Alrighty, let's just lead off with a Heath here. I'll call Black. Bonk. Just in case our Omen shows up. Do, do, do. I don't think I've seen that avatar yet. All right. So we've got white looking down at us. Let's just make things right. I see no reason to not throw out the tribe. <laughs> of course, a journey will send us packing, but what are you going to do? Thanks for hanging out with me today, everybody. I know it's a janky day, but we got to have them every once in a while. Keep things fresh. You know, technically, technically, yeah, we were 2-3. <laughs> If you count the quitter, but we're playing this one to uh, just get a little bit more assessment of what, what the hell is going on here. Uh, not quite sure what we're up against. I don't think the life's worth the uh, aha value of being able to protect our tribe here. I'd like our lands to show up so we could start seraphing here. Came for the fake ad, stayed for the company, says Jester. Any thoughts about the black sack in this metagame? Whew. I got, I've always got thoughts. I haven't played that in a while, have I? Hmm. The only problem with Black Sack is that uh, the damage quotient, like if somebody is playing Weather the Storm, which we just saw the fake commercial for, can get a little weird. We've got Double Blessing. Let's see if this will uh, warrant some sort of a counterspell here. I wouldn't normally do this, but I'll call Blue on this. Got a counter? Okay, cool. I, th I think that's worthy cause. Of course, that's true of a lot of lists, but... All right, don't mind this. They really didn't want to see that happen, did they? Shall we try it again? I don't believe the uh, tribe's really going to be all that worth it compared to a Seraph. So I think I'm just going to chill on that plan. Let me do this instead. Unless they vapor snag it right now or something. We got a pretty healthy total. Let's see if we can keep it up. Hey, Shirazamon's here. All right. <laughs> Go back to drinking cider. Good to have you here, buddy. Winfro, yeah. You're catching a lot of licking of the wounds here. Technically, we're 2 3 on a, in a super jank build. Like I said, if we ever have 5 0 shows, I always like to follow it up with pr pretty uh, experimental jank just to keep things fresh and not all about the W's. Been a mess all week. What's the matter, Shiraz? Can't be worse than Nim. Nim just hit his head. He's on the mend, but it was pretty alarming. Switch. My kids used to jump on the... We have these two couches like most households do, and they would switch off and on. They'd go, switch, and they would jump in the air, and so that's kind of why... And obviously we're switching the stats, so that feels a little funny. We might want to pro-white uh, that if they're going to start ephemerating things here. It's frustrating. Hmm. This is an old school list. Man, don't piss off Shiraz. Uh, what do we do here? This is obviously like some snap style. If I draw a basic, it's going to be... Okay, that's almost better. Just sit back and do nothing. We've chosen black already. Let's go green. I'll sit back. Oh, 
Okay. Looks like we're going to have to go pro blue here, but on what? We've got the opening here. I don't, <laughs> we can't really turn on tribe here. Color combo suggests they're going to be able to gain some life. But flying is not going to be an option. So I think tribe is going to be our way in. Let's throw this on now. I'm called blue. Hopefully they don't have journeys. This is going to be a blocker. Blue. Maybe they only have bounce answers or, or blue permanence. Try to get in with this dude here. And Umbro would be a really nice top deck here. No. All right. So I'm going to save on these dudes. Not even, you know, just for the defensive aspect of it, I'm going to play this out. And then we're going to start hoarding cards. Let's start dinking away here. Hopefully our switcheroo shows up. I really want it to be in the form of Treefolk Umbra, though, because it's going to represent a lot quicker clock. Oh, thank you for that, Winfro. Saturday feels like the Super Bowl for Popper. I appreciate you saying that. I always want like to catch those or imagine somebody that loves Popper and never heard about it, checks it out along with the fake commercials and the intro songs and stuff. It's like, holy crap. <laughs> what is this, a TV show about Popper? It's what I'm aiming for. I miss a lot, but over the years, got quite a few ways to keep you all entertained. All righty. And yes, if you look closely, my wife made me my own chapstick with the propaganda logos on it for one of my, um, I think it was Father's Day or some little gag. You've been married this long, you've, you've bought everything you need, so you just uh, do the thing. Hey, we like seeing Sentinel's eyes in the graveyard. That's a good plan. I might be able to get there. Come on. All right, there's the snap I was worried about on their own dudes, though. Finding answers, doing things. What am I doing? I'll just yield here. Bloop. Oh, Winfro, thank you so much. Yeah, I, I haven't got much feedback on the Zodiac, so I really appreciate you saying that. That was a lot of work, just making the artwork for it. And, and then they went and banned a tog right after I did it. <laughs> yeah, come on over. Let me gain some life. How you like that? Woo! Come on, come on. Let's go. All right, we'll keep that. We'll play the eyeballs here. Bloop. We'll exile two cards. Sure, a pilgrim and an invitation. Done. Is there another one? There is not. I think I'll cycle that Barons just so our probability goes up of drawing something of relevance. What are they doing here? It's going to be pretty hard to keep us off Sentinel's eyes, so we're just going to keep replaying it. Snap on the dude. Okay. It'll be taking some damage. Uh, do I discard it or not? Man, I so hope our theme shows up. I've seen two snaps now. Okay. There's some Convoke action going down. We are far from a Convoke style. <laughs> They're getting enough air power out here. I might have to cast that Angel. I know it's just going to get snapped again until I see Ephemerate show up. I'm feeling all right. Play it again. Getting rid of Ash Barons and the land. Done. Shall we dance again? All right. Solid footing, two of them down. Whew. 
Nice little two-pronged attack here, but they're really going hard in the paint with the uh, blue. <laughs> Your goblin called off a junk removal company. Hmm, yeah, a little, I'll write it down. There's the judges familiar. As we mill two more cards, cool. Two we don't need. Really like to see some more Sentinel's Eyes showing up. We don't have many turns left, though. These birdies are getting pretty numerous. Double snap in the yard. Okay. I really want to see another snap here because that might mean unless graveyard shenanigans show up, we might be able to keep our angel out. Mom's and, mom and son salvage. Okay. I'd like to draw those sky fishers, but... You know, this is that little decision tree of fate, right? You, you cycle the Ash Barons, and then you draw perfectly, or you don't. Or maybe if you don't cycle, then you draw perfectly. Seeing that we're getting milled here. I believe I'm going to sit back. Oh, no, he's got a blocker now. Dang. All right. I consider putting in uh, angelic wings and a lot of other doohickeys, so just for this scenario so I could fly over or at least prevent stuff. But we do have Skyfisher, and we've got the angels. Something tells me to try it. Let's, let's cycle. Get a plane. Won't play it. Opponent now knows two cards in her hand. Drawback of doing that. Skyfisher. I do like that. We're just walking right into a uh, the play here. Let's let's bring out a Skyfisher instead. Let's see if it resolves. All right. So we'll get back some life gainers. Play this. Gain some life. And unfortunately, we have four Sentinel's Eyes and there's none in our yard. But that's not going to stop me. Let's see if they bite. Cool, two free damage. Let's see, that's eight, ten. We have lethal if we draw any sort of combo. Probably going to get snapped EOT on the Skyfisher. Consider playing another land out just to represent another Benevolent Blessing, but I, th I think the better line here is just to uh, let's sit back. Oracle showing up. Two more cards going into a, a graveyard. Let's see what they are. Don't be good. Don't be good. All right, Sentinel's Eyes, that's good. A little bit quicker clock, and we don't have to use any cards in our hand. I like that. If they block with Sunscape now, it will die. I do love a pauper universe where Murmuring Mystic is very playable. That's just fun. It's a lot of, it's a lot of card, and I, I think you should be rewarded for being able to keep it safe like they are. I think they're regretting using up all their snaps early. All right, let's go. I'll block this. Remember, the judge is familiar is only with sorceries and instants, if I believe. Yes. Not with creatures. Not that I'm assuming as much. Let's go. Fun little game. All right. Double Sentinel's Eyes is pretty good times. Play that out. Oh, Umbra, why'd you have to go in the yard? Come on now. We'll gain three more life at least, right? Go white. God, it's raining like crazy out there. I want to see the rain. Boop, boop. 
done. Uh, sure, we'll play this out. Gain three life, might be relevant. Who knows what they're trying to do, right? Should we attack with both? I'll we'll just leave it like that. At some point, that Sunscape's going to want to block. Cat's out of the bag with this kind of strategy. They just eat up our graveyard and go, oh, what are you up to? And they see it all. They're like, how many more Sentinel's eyes does this guy run? The answer, one. Yes, I run all four. Uh-oh, this is going to make things very confusing. Three cards with plenty of mana behind it. Yowza. <laughs> John Varney. All right. Now a benevolent blessing calling white might be the uh, right play. God, this, this deck gets nowhere fast, I'll tell you that. I considered playing the God Pharaoh because of the stats. It's a one drop for, but you know, you go down that ox plan or like there's a, there's some, um, there's, I think there's another zero four. I just wasn't able to play enough spells to make the life gain really relevant. And then it just gets blocked by everything like the trailblazer and stuff. So, all right, this game's headed south very quickly. The grabbing snap, I would imagine. Oh, meeting the minds, even better. Gonna probably just mail me out this turn. Okay. Not afraid of too much damage here. Let's go. It can block, but they'll lose something. So this is just a really weird familiars draw. I mean, I was thinking, uh, where did my pin go? We'll see. So we'll need some uh we'll need some help. Ooh, that's a good draw. That'd be a very good draw. Call this on white now. It's awkward. <laughs> white. They might just be able to gain enough life that it's not gonna matter though. Oh, to attack with both. Nah. Man, if we drew Tree Folk Umbra, that would just be so sweet if we could play it. The only counter magic we've seen is prohibit. Darn life gainer. It's probably going to mean the difference. That or we get milled to death here. Ah, another Umbra. No. Protect the big butts and they protect you. <laughs> this game's over. All right, off the game. We get milled out there. Lee Majors Jedi. What a cool name. All right. These obviously come in. Dawnbringers, maybe. Maybe just one. I don't think this rough's worth it. In a deck with Snap, I don't want to be spending four mana to make that thing go down. This is going to be super relevant if we get it. If we could keep it in hand. I'll lose a pilgrim, an invitation, a bodyguard. I believe we're good there. Will this be enough for our intrepid hero? Hmm. Makes me want to play Scattershot Archer. Why didn't I put that in my sideboard? It's always the way it is, right? You expect... Uh, the Edict Blade and six games of not seeing any swamps. Well, we're up against a lot of good deck here, and we're not playing one. Let's try anyway, shall we? Bloop. Oh, boy. And then our deck does this to us. Mulligan. Wow, that is bad news. Mulligan. Mulligan. 
<laughs> it's like we're up against a good deck and we double mulligan. Oh my god, we'll keep this. Put back a pilgrim. Oh, put back another pilgrim. Ugh. Rang out. Potty gold. Keep snap. Remember when Hidden Spider was always being played and I found the Scattershot Archer with a few others when Stompy was first becoming a thing and I was very slow to be indoctrinated over the Hidden Spider. All right. I'm just going to lose tempo here. Helmet. Let's go. I keep the thread up here. Wouldn't mind. Yeah, I would. I would. I was thinking like the uh, tap lands. What do they call those ones I'm playing? The uh, coming to play tapped and choose a color. Isn't there a name for those? Got early evasion. I want to be able to keep our dude from Snap Country here. Thrive lands. There we go. All right, that's not the worst draw. Let's start piling up. Maybe we can get there. I'm not going to sneeze at three a turn. How good does Bodyguard feel right now? I believe they've gotten... Uh, they use that new um, Azorius bird, I would assume, over... Um, what do you call? They don't really mind this. It's like you get something that I just keep getting back. That's fine. Unless they can remove my yard here, but... You know, the little uh, the blue enchantment that turns into that 2-3 flyer. Thriving lands. Commit that to memory. Let's go. Okay, that's enough sideboard. <laughs> double <laughs> double macabre so I can get back Sentinel's Eyes. <laughs> Logged under a worst play ever. Yeah, with Convoke and having a uh, one-drop flyer that can counter spells and represent two colors of mana. That's pretty valuable. Okay. Just give me a basic, would you? That'll work. Shall we go all in on this? We're probably walking right into a prohibit, but the longer this game goes, the less chance we have to win. And this will just fuel the Sentinel's eyes later. So let's see if this works. Maybe it will. Make them have it. That's right. Hmm. Well, I'll say pro white then, and it'll probably get bounced. Or even worse, they, they just let it sit on there and then they snap it. We'll see why. Bloop. Sure wish I had an answer to a snap. I'm pretty sure they're holding one. This is just such GG if this is a snap. Come on, quit being a drama queen. Just snap it. <laughs> I think I wait till I turn it sideways. Who knows? Maybe they sighted out snaps. <laughs> no one with the Karoo lands would do that. Is it going to hit? What a drama queen if they have snap. Well, oh. all right. Okay. I really hope some graveyard shenanigans show up so I feel a little warranted in my choices of hand here. Dang it. Nothing's left. The caffeine has vanished. It's rare that I will sack a deck, but this one I think I'm going to uh, just delete after this show. It's been
been a neat experiment. I think it had more personality when I was playing Giant Ox. Hey, look at this. There's some options now. Well, do we Sentinel's eyes? Or do we solid footing? Let's do the eyes first. The eyes have it. Boop, boop. Done. Okay. And we'll attack. <laughs> There's a lot wrong with our hands right now. The only good thing is we're, we've got a little bit of pressure and they haven't found any life gain yet. Okay. Well, at least now we can smash into a mole drifter. They'll probably still let us through here, unless another one shows up. Or if they finally found Snap. That'll speed things up very quickly. You know a card I miss of old school cards is Capsize. I used to get Capsized to death all the time. Back in the day. Snapping their own dude. Okay. Suggest they have another. Ooh, that's a lot of cards. Or do they have the dude? No, I don't miss it. Would be nice to see every once in a while, though. It's not like it turned into a bad card. Remember some Tron builds. Good grief. Just end of turn. Doink, 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 doink. <laughs> Didn't roll the horror. For sure. That's almost like it got banned or something. It's like, where did it go? Nobody plays it anymore. Didn't stop being a good card. All right. Longest game ever continues. Oh my goodness, please use your graveyard. Are we walking into a snap here? Maybe not. <laughs> Recoil, yeah, there's another great card. Well, I shouldn't say great, it's good. It used to be great. Speaking of great cards, here comes a Fim Rape for the third time. We're slowly getting outclassed. At least we've got... This is a very good timing for them to bring out the Archaeomancer. We have double answer! Macabre. Macab. <laughs> I always say macabre. Sorry. Yeah, you said it, Winfro. It is a slog for sure. You can have four of four answers, and they'll have the fifth. Aha! On top of that. Very good list. So slow to get to get formulated, right? It was just years of it always being a little bit of this, a little bit of that. It's nice to see Seagate back. Brings me back. But it's been pretty figured out. I know Sed Ed Rankin is kind of the main dude behind these lists. Going to change anything? Yeah, better run it by him because it's been pretty ironed out as far as what works. Yeah, I've never I've never suited it up either. I've got all, you know, I've got every card. I just like you said, it's just not my style and there's if there's one critique I've got about Sidid Rankin is is like he plays at like every other outing. I know he loves the deck, but this seems kind of like an exhaustive stance. But if you love something, go for it. Okay, I guess we just have to bluff that. 
I'll try it. Are they going to snap it? They're going to three for one us if they've got it. And we can't even recast the Skyfish of the way our mana is now, but just going to see if they've got it. We all have that one deck. Yeah, that's a good point, Winfro. Mine's probably blank, in fact. Oh, man. For a greater. No. Our stuff dies. They got us. This is just so over. We've got plenty of answers for their for their uh, stuff. All they have to do is start turning things sideways here. Sit back on counter magic and collect the check. This is painful. Yeah, mine's probably either Blackburn or something with Infect. I love me some Blackburn. I think I could be on life support and almost brain dead and still be able to pilot that well. <laughs> Been on a proliferate kick lately. MDC. The other day, got wrecked by Ferry McCovey and he got salty because of watching you. I'm always on the lookout for that card. Yeah. Well, it's just uncounterable. I mean, I get teased sometimes. People go, oh, you just auto-include it. And it's like, it's a damn good card. There's very few times. Sometimes I'll put three macabre, like one or two relics, depending. But for the most part, any outside of like a knot of the bone or you know, those style of list, even that, you know, you can you can tag me end of turn. We're losing here. I'm just in a suffering mood right now. It's just like I, I should probably just quit export and can wait till next week, but uh, we'll see how our opponent does. Let's see if we top deck anything of relevance here. Crunch. We're not that far away from just flat out dying. Just be nice to pull off our macabre. Who doesn't like uncounterable cards, right? Same can be said for Seal of Fire once it's out. It's like, good luck. Okay. They're turning up the clock. We're getting beat over the head. That's a two-turn two, two turn clock now. Nine cards. Let's see what they discard. Yeah, well said, Dreamer Stingo. It is neat to have certain, like, experts. It's like Kung Fu, right? You get your experts in a certain style. For you Avatar fans out there, the Airbender Persuasion, I have learned that Toph, the blind girl, they had a, a completely different form of Kung Fu that they used for that. And um, I mean, this helps a little bit. It'll stem the bleeding for a turn, right? Um, and anyway, so her her fight style is completely different. And I think, it was, is it Hungar Kung Fu? No, I got that wrong. But anyway... Before the guy even knew it, he told the creators that rumor has it this Kung Fu was um, invented by a blind woman. And they were just like, mind's blowing, because if you know, Toph is blind and she's like one of the best fighters. Pretty cool. I'm just going through the motions here, guys. Keeping the stories rolling. But yeah, like I said last week, I know I, I referenced it, but there's a there's a podcast for anybody that really loves airbend, airbenders. And then what, one... A month and two days, the new one comes out on Netflix. I don't know if it's going to be good or not, but the live action. I know the cartoons will be good if the creators are behind it. But um, there's a, it's called Braving the Elements, and you learn a lot of backstory. You could probably skip a lot of the episodes, but whenever the creators are on, it's always worth a listen because you, you always learn like really cool little new things and stuff. So, yeah, we're just going to quit here. <laughs> we're dead next turn. I don't know why I'm suffering through this. Good job, Lee Majors Jedi. As we go, eh, two, three-ish. Not even that good, though. What would I change? I, what would I change? I, I'm going to change the name of this to delete because uh, this experiment kind of crashed and burned. Um, trying to do a little bit too much, too slowly, you know, too avant-garde, which reminds me, it was very hard for me when, when I was um, putting this together to not turn it into, um, where's my dead and gone list? I love this list. Similar style um, with a lot of um, similar players. But, you know, this one uses the Midnight Gond engine with presence. And, um, oh, I thought this one, uh, this, this is dead and gone. There's one that I have tribe and the other one in there too. So it can go both ways. But anyway, y'all. I'm going to be vegging out on football and pizza the rest of the day. I hope you do the same if you're here in the States and like that or wherever you are. And then Chimsky, I sure hope your head feels better, my friend. 
Thanks for the medical advice, Memphis Ran. And uh, to all the rest of you out there, stay warm, happy, and uh, we'll see you next time on Propaganda. I'm trying to think of what to go out with here. I guess we'll just do a little supporters if anybody out there feels of the giving persuasion. We'll see you next week with a lot better deck, I promise. But hey, this is how we roll here. It's all about creativity. Adios, everybody. 